I know what you're thinking. It's been about two, two and a half years since I've posted a video blog, but here I am. I'm back. I do have to admit, it is kind of weird to be vlogging again, walking down a hallway or a sidewalk with a camera in my hand isn't second nature anymore. Well, I'm stopped at a light. Let me show you my rig real quick. This is what I'm shooting with right now. This is the Gorillapod Focus, the Ball Head X, and I got a beast grip on top of here uh, with a little LED light that works like a huge spotlight and doesn't really fill the area like it should. There's a couple of reasons why I haven't really vlogged in the last two years. One big one, I got a day job. Something I was expecting to only last a few months, uh, or a few weeks, then a few months, and then it turned into a year, and then it turned into two years. The people are great, the uh, environment's pretty good, uh, the work is not an entertainment. It's given me a good, stable income to be able to really move forward in other areas, so I'm... I'm appreciating it. I see it for exactly what it is. The job is a tool. The job is a means to an end, but my job is not a career. Entertainment is my career. I'm really starting to, now that I'm kind of stable, starting to really push and, and reinforce the creative elements of my life, and that's why I'm jumping back into vlogging. I've been trying to write. One of the reasons I decided to start vlogging again is because I missed it. With vlogging, I was so happy when I was doing it because I could shoot it and I could edit it and I could get it up and I could feel that sense of accomplishment that I shot a video. I love, love, love scripted narrative works and I still want to do them. It's still part of my plan but there's something satisfying that vlogging gives me. Now I took a look at what I'd done before and I looked at some of the other vloggers that I follow and what they're doing and I asked myself some hard questions. I was doing a lot of things right but there was room for improvement. I'm really hoping to incorporate some of those pieces into it this time and really focus on just having a conversation with you. I mean, I talk to you through the video, you can talk to me through social media in the comments. Tell me what you think of these videos. Tell me if I'm doing a good job. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't. Uh, well, don't tell me if you don't. Now, if you go back and look at my old videos, I'm keeping them up. If you look at my old videos, you'll notice I was doing some adventure vlogs that were a lot of fun, and then I had these three videos. After I became a maker partner, I had someone there that was working with me and they took a look at my metrics and they were noticing that I had viewers dropping off after a certain amount of time. Instead of looking at my video and figuring out what I was trying to do and figuring out ways to maybe improve what I was doing and engage people more throughout the video, they just said, well, you need to make your videos shorter. I took the advice to make it shorter and I reinvented my channel and I wanted to start uh, basically doing a lecture series. But the camera I was working with at the time was my Nikon D3100 and shooting video mode inside just there was horrible dynamic range. When I would shoot outside with it I had this beautiful picture but trying to shoot inside even controlled lighting I could not get that thing to look right. I was frustrated with the visual image and I was also trying to write out exactly what I wanted to say word for word and then I was having trouble memorizing it and fitting it in with everything else I was doing to, to, to write, to memorize, to shoot and then edit this thing. I got burned out after three episodes. Hold on real quick, I'm gonna show you this traffic Look at that. I have to drive through that to get downtown. 
Anyway, so I got burned out with those videos and I stopped vlogging. Now, two and a half years later, I'm starting it back up and I'm really excited. Yesterday, I had no caffeine, but I had so much energy because I knew today was the day it was all going to begin and hopefully the day it all changes. So this building right here is the Wilshire Grand. It's under construction and when it's done, it's going to be the tallest skyscraper west of the Mississippi. The other tallest skyscraper west of the Mississippi is also here in LA. It's the US Bank Building a few blocks over. They just recently added a glass slide from like the 70th to the 69th floor and I'm just gonna know about that. got my badges. I have never paid for a Comic Con or an Anime Expo. They always offer, since it's entertainment related, pro badges or industry badges. I just want to say thank you LA Comic Con. I'm going to have a lot of fun this weekend. So the crowd at this convention so far seems a little smaller than San Diego, obviously. This is a smaller con. Uh, but people are just as passionate with their costumes here. You know, I'm not going to head into the hall just yet. I'm going to take some time, mill around, and I'm also waiting for my friend Mark. It's always awesome when there's a giant robot. Precision German engineering! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell I've decided that I can't wait for Mark any longer. I'm going to head into the exhibit hall and see a couple of friends. I am currently looking for the autograph area. And Mark's here, so I'm going to turn around and go find him. <laughs> of course, that's just, just my luck. Outside trying to find Mark. I just, I really don't know where to find him. Excuse me, sir, can you help me? I'm no. trying to find my friend Mark. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, where do you get your. Uh... Hey there, right in there. Internet, this is Mark. Mark, internet. Hey, internet, what's going on? I don't want to be part of the vlog. I'm already part of the vlog. You got me on. <laughs> so, uh, what what is it that you're hoping to do this weekend? Okay, I'll play along. Uh, I don't know, just look around, maybe meet Stan, check out some things. Ooh. My favorite Pixar film, Wally. Luke, I am a potato. Something suddenly feels very heavy. I'm not sure what it is. You lost me intentionally, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've been staring at this for the last five minutes. I don't know what to make of it. We also have our book that tells the story of why we're fighting off the zombie apocalypse. As if garden lawn gnomes weren't creepy enough, zombie gnomes. <laughs> So it turns out that Friday night, uh, there are no autographs, and my two friends I was looking for were in the autograph alley. I'm mad here tonight. It's been a long day, and I'm going to be back here tomorrow morning. 
thought you guys just might want to see my first con buy. I always pick up a graphic novel or two, especially if it's an independent artist. Although there's this name on this one you might not recognize. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but apparently it's some big wig in comics. Okay, I'm kidding. I know who Stan Lee is. I don't know how to start. There's a dog right there. Moron, drop the tripod on his head.